Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at reviewing a IBM 8923 keyboard. If you purchased a computer from IBM during the late 90s or early 2000s, this is the keyboard you got. It was RGB before RGB was a thing. It was built rugged, it was beige, and it had green LEDs for the num lock, cap lock, and scroll lock. This keyboard was produced in January of 1997. It has this channel here, so if uh, you have, if your computer is on your right, then you can route the cable to the right or you can write the cable to the left if your computer is on your left. It has two rubber feet, just a regular flat back, or you can raise the keyboard, give the keyboard a little bit of a lift in the back end. On the front, we have our standard 109 keys, and they're not chiclet keys, like the M's or the uh, they're not um, it's not like the model M it has rubber dome keys which still have a click and a clicky feel type to them but it's comfortable the keyboard itself has a bow to it for comfort so it's smaller in that end higher on that end with this C type curve to it which makes it nice and comfortable when you're typing on it has rubber feet to uh, help it stay in place and the keys are comfortable to press now Okay, so these are single shot keys and what that means is that they're just one solid piece and we're going to take the G key off, just take a little screwdriver, pry up, I just came right off a little bit ago, there it goes, and it's just one solid piece and you have the two ends that lock it into place by coming together. Now what you see in there is the rubber membrane and that's for the key actuation. Now to demonstrate how this works you have this little rubber membrane and just it's touching the top now and there's the G. Just slowly it isn't until it actually hits the bottom that it act activates the key. The key is real easy to put back on. Just line it up and push. There it is. Now we can do some typing on the keyboard. It has little bumps here, so if you're a typist, you know where to rest your fingers. Also has a little bump on the five just like a normal keyboard does so that when you're doing numbers you know to put your fingers. Same thing here on our main keyboard. And it's very responsive. and has a nice uh, tactile feel. And, of course, it's an IBM. So, it's built rugged. If you try and twist it, ugh, that ain't gonna happen very hard very durable plastic keys work very again work very well 
have a nice little click to them, but they're rubber dome. They're not MX or Cherry cable, uh, keys, which have a bit of a click to them. It also has the older PS2 type. A lot of motherboards, current motherboards, do support the PS2 type connector for your keyboard, but mine doesn't, so I went and just got a PS2 to USB adapter, which, again, still makes it very responsive. Doesn't affect the performance of this keyboard at all. It's a very nice, very old keyboard and in 2019 it works very very well hey guys thanks for watching we took a look at a, this real old keyboard yeah it's uh, from the late 90s and it's a year younger than my son so if you liked it please hit like get subscribed if you didn't like it well then why are you still here why are you watching this hot mess Hit the dislike button. If you have any questions, leave them in the, in the comment section down below. And we will see you guys in the next one.